Good morning, everyone. Oh, hey, vacay. Aww. It's vacation day. Vacation morning, kicking off a coast to coast two part vacation. Yeah, this is an interesting. It was a little bit unexpected. It was just gonna be Florida. We were gonna leave yeah. later this week, but instead, you guys, we've told you we are going to San Diego to kick things off. We haven't been very clear as to why. I think it's time we open up about that, Mindy. It's time oh. we let everyone know why we are headed to San Diego. Let us do tell. We are headed to San Diego because Maddie, Madison Bingham, you may know her, has chosen to serve a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. That is the religion, the church that we belong to. She's gonna be doing a mission. If you're not familiar with it, you go out and you preach and you serve and you share the gospel with people. It is a very incredible, I'm like getting goosebumps thinking about it. It's an amazing experience. I did it when I was 19. She is 18 and choosing to do it. And today, she should be receiving the letter that tells her where she will be going for the next 18 months. It could be anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, you guys. She could be called back to like right here in Utah. She could be called to Hong Kong. She could be called to Spain. Spain. Mom guessed Spain. That's my guess. We've been taking guesses from the family. It could be absolutely anywhere in the world. So by the end of today's vlog, you will find out and you will know where Maddie will be spending the next 18 months of her life on her own, you guys. She goes out, does this on her own. There's a lot more to it. You're in companionships and you have a mission president who kind of oversees things. And so you're not entirely alone, but very much an on your own thing. We are so proud of her. We are yes. so excited, a little bit nervous. Kind of can't believe that it's actually that phase of life that this is even happening. That is why we are hopping on a plane today because we want to be there the moment she opens that letter. Yes. It's an email now. It used to be a letter. It's an email. But the moment she opens and reads that email, we want to be there. We want to know where she's going. We want to celebrate in that moment with her. Give her huge hugs, tons of tears. You guys are coming with us. It all starts by getting on a plane. Right now! We got all the bags down here. I immediately noticed upon picking up one of the bags, <clears throat> moms, that it was severely overweight. Not mom, her bag. Make sure you clarify. <laughs> you get good at this as you've been packing and traveling a bit. You can kind of tell immediately when you pick a bag up if it's going to be over the 50 pound limit. You just kind of get a sense for how much they're supposed to weigh. I picked up mom's yeah. bag and I was like, this is for sure over the 50 pound no. limit. Yeah, this one's way over. Here's how I know I can't get it down the stairs with only my left hand. A little embarrassing trying to get that, guys. But we have this super rad. Been sitting in a closet in a package. We've never even used it. The last, I think, two times we've showed up with overweight baggage. Rag guy saw this the other day in the closet upstairs, and he's like, hey, we need to use this next time to make sure our bags are the right weight. We got it out today. Sure enough, show him how it works, Rag guy. You lift it up, hangs the bag, and then tells you the weight of the bag. Picked up the heavy one. It was 57 pounds, seven pounds overweight. But all that means is you just got to redistribute it. I don't know what you're talking about. Mom has, I think, an entire closet worth of shoes in there. I've got to go with the outfits. I'm going to go running i need some sandals and i need some seven days seven gonna... pairs of shoes obviously like <laughs> i think i have five pairs of shoes oh my gosh. and the ones i'm wearing but the... <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, all we had to do is redistribute, take some of that out of here, put it into the different bags, and now all of them are 40 to 45 pounds. We are set to yeah, go. Yeah, we're ready. That Wait, scale coming in clutch. You know what that means? That's can't more fit room. more. You can't fit more. <laughs> We have loaded into the minivan. We've got all the bags packed. You can see them sticking up there in the back. We are ready to head to the airport. Now, something funny about this trip, guys, when you're flying to San Diego, the drive to the airport's about as long as the flight. That's true. We don't have a very long flight ahead. We are going pretty early, though. Grab some breakfast, hang out in the airport, and then jump on our airplane. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, let's hit the road, baby. <laughs> We have arrived to the long-term economy parking of the Salt Lake International Airport. Wah, 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 wah. Now a reminder, you guys, this is a new airport. We've only been here once. Learned a few things on our last trip, though. Number one, gates are very far away from where you go into the airport, so it is a nice long walk. Number two, all the good food places are, are up front. So if we're gonna eat, we wanna eat before we get to our gates. So we're gonna go get checked in, get through TSA, and then probably grab a quick bite before we settle in. And just kinda hang out. We're here pretty early, guys. We got plenty of time. We're at the gate waiting to get on the airplane right now. Boards in about, I don't know, like 10 minutes. We got some snacks, got some breakfast, and I think we're ready to head off. We just found out that Maddie has received her call. It is there. We're getting really dark. Can you see us? I'm sitting in Hazel's seat, and she looks very upset at me. Hi. Well, Hazel decided not to go with the treat option. What'd she get? She went the activity option. She decided to get a fun little activity Wait, on the plane. Everyone else got candy, and you got a water bottle book? And a cigarette. And also a drink. <laughs> I didn't get one, so that even it out. You didn't get a water bottle book? I got a water bottle. Wow. What I was saying just a minute ago when Hazy walked with her water wow, which I was very wowed by. Is that Maddie does have her call, so it comes via email. The email has hit her inbox. It is ready to be opened. She's just hanging on to it until tonight. We're gonna be opening it tonight, 6 p.m. California time. We're gonna find out where she's gonna be going on her mission. This. Next 18 months, it's happening. It's going down today. And you guys are gonna be there for it.
If you only knew the number of videos on YouTube that Riley watches of planes, plane flights, being in the captain's cockpit, he loves watching those airplane videos. Well, guess what? We walked into the airplane, the pilot pulled him into the cockpit. He's up there. He's still up there. We are now sitting in our seats. We've been here for a while, sanitized, we're hanging out. He is still up there. They said, we'll send him back when he's done. Last I saw, he was sitting in the pilot's chair, in the captain's chair. They're letting him mess with knobs, buttons, see how everything works. I think, guys, this is going to be a flight that he will never forget. That is like heaven for him up there right now. Hey pilot, how's it going, Captain? Good. Dude, how was that? That was amazing. What did he let you do up there? He showed me everything, like all the Delta gauges and stuff. He let me sit in the chair. He took my picture and stuff. It was cool. Did you know? picture up there. That's so cool. Dude, you guys, he put on the pilot's hat and he's sitting so cool. in the front seat. Okay, let's see. Right guy, that is so freaking sick, dude. to San Diego, California. Local time is 12.06. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and carry on as stood until our pilot is parked the aircraft at the gate and turned off the seatbelt sign. We have arrived. Yeah. We've made it to San Diego, San Diego, as they say. We're gonna go pick our baggages up. Baggages, our we're luggage. We're gonna go pick our <laughs> luggage up and get our rental car. And then I think we're gonna go drop the bags at the hotel. Is that first order of business? Cause and it's only 10 minutes from here. Gotta gear up for a big, big night tonight, you guys. We are in our rental car and uh, they gave us a pretty sick upgrade here. This is not what we rented, but because this they don't have a lot, be bad. <laughs> this one is not good for us, guys. After this, you gotta go back home to the swagger wagon. Sorry, guys. Uh -huh. I don't think we're gonna be picking up yeah, one of these anytime soon. Now we're gonna go meet Maddie for lunch. You got the giant TV screen here if you guys wanna watch some movies. This whole thing is a sunroof. No, it is not. Let's yes. see. This whole thing? You have got to be kidding me. Oh, I see the money, won't pick and roll, give and go. I see the money, won't pick and roll, give and go. Kidding me right now. Oh, <laughs> what? I had no idea we had ocean view. Uh, guys, checking into our hotel. Look at that. We got windsurfers out there on the water. Look at we got two of them. Woo! Two guys kite surfing, windsurfing right out your balcony. That's I'm what I'm talking run about. This tomorrow morning. Mindy, your run tomorrow will be out on that water side. No way. I didn't even know we had this dope of this you. This is cool. And then our room is next door. It's a king bed. SeaWorld right there. So quick room tour. We're only here for a couple nights. So here it is, the room. Behold, a couple of beds for the kids to share. Mom and I next door. Got the king bed next door. It's gonna work for our needs for these next couple days. Yeah, I think we're gonna this be here tonight. is gonna be really awesome. Tomorrow we're gonna hit up the pool. She said there's a great restaurant out there. She said the views are amazing. That's perfect. That's what we want to do is have lunch here at the pool. Just take it easy because guys, we're only gonna stay here for a night and a half. And the reason I say that is because we have to get up at 3:30 in the morning <laughs> on the next night to head to the airport to head out to Florida. Not gonna be using these beds too much. All we're gonna do now though is get some of our things unpacked and then we're gonna meet Maddie for lunch before the big opening tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi guys! Maddie! Yeah. 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 Cry. Cry. No crying allowed. <laughs> We just had a delicious sandwich and bite to eat with Maddie. It was totally delicious and fun. But then so she ran off to go do some dress shopping. They bailed on us. The ladies took off. So it was just me Dresses. and the boys came over to check out the beach. And I was just telling the kids, guys, so soak it in because this is the Pacific Ocean on the west coast of the United States. In a couple of days, we'll be in the Atlantic Ocean on the east coast of the United States. Kind of cool going coast to coast on this trip. Maddie getting a fun dress to open up her call in tonight. We go back to the hotel, get dressed up. Some little bit nicer clothes, those collar shirts that we got you guys. That's what it was for us for this occasion tonight. A little bit dressed up and then go find out she's gonna go spend the next 18 months of her life. That's yep. probably coming up next, guys. Let's do it. changed up a little bit. I dressed up a little. <laughs> we are headed now to Maddie's house where she's going to open up her mission call, find out where she's going to be serving for the next 18 months. You guys are coming with us. It's like a 30 minute drive from here to there. I think we're just going to kind of hang out. She's going to set up a little Zoom so that people who can't be there can tune in. Family members who aren't able to make it can still participate in it. You guys are going to be catching it as it happens right now in the vlog.
We've got obviously as a map of the world here and then as people have guessed where they think she might go, they've put colored dots on all of the places. We put up a poll on Instagram where you guys think she's gonna go. We've seen a lot of Australia, we've seen some Brazil. You can see the United States New dotted Zealand. with a lot of stuff here. New Zealand would be amazing. Anywhere in the world, guys. Could be absolutely anywhere. These are just some of the guesses that people have been making. Rag, I guess Portugal right there. Where do you guys think? If you're able to comment below right now where you think she's gonna go, she's about to open her call next. As a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You have been recommended as one worthy to represent the Lord as a minister of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ. You will be an official representative of the church. As such, you will be expected to maintain the highest standards of conduct and appearance, keep the commandments, and follow the counsel of your mission president. Your purpose will be to invite others to come unto Christ by helping them receive the restored gospel through faith in Jesus Christ and his atonement. As you serve with all your heart, might, mind, and strength, the Lord will lead you to those who will hear his message. You are assigned to labor in the in the Dominican Republic. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So we just got done going out to dinner. We've had an amazing time celebrating mm -hmm. this little sister missionary right here. And we could not be more excited to announce to you guys that she is going to the Dominican Republic. DR, baby! Oh my gosh, the DR. And what's even cooler than that is you're going to get to use your Spanish that you've yes. been studying for so many years. Yeah. And go to this exotic, hi, Mindy, come on in. Hi, guys, and go to this exotic location. And what we didn't even realize, guys, she has been all around that. Somebody yeah. sent a screenshot of the map of where you're gonna be. And there is Aruba by there, Curacao by there, Puerto Rico by there, Turks and Caicos by there. We're going to. Without even knowing, you have been to all of these places all around. It's just been waiting for you. And now you're gonna go there, serve your mission. 18 months. Yes! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Perfect. It's a dream come true in yeah. so many ways. There are gonna be a lot more details to come. It's yeah. coming up in October. She's going to officially start the mission. Yep. There's a lot more to that. She's gotta run right now though. She's gotta get back home. We've gotta get to the hotel, but I think we're gonna hang a little bit tomorrow at the pool. Definitely. So maybe we can fill in people on a little more details there. Yeah. But very excited for Maddie, very proud of her, you guys. This is a huge, huge deal. You guys have been insanely supportive already on Instagram. Thank yeah. you guys. Thank you guys for that, and this is going to be an adventure that you're going to want to follow. Definitely. Really should have just closed it there with Maddie because we don't have <laughs> anything more to add. She finished perfectly. Very much grateful for your love and your support on her new adventure coming up. This Not till October. Exciting. It's going to be around a bit longer. She's going to go with us to Turks and Caicos coming up in July. So there's more Maddie to come, you guys. And probably going to stop by tomorrow and hang out with us at the hotel. That would be really awesome. You guys, we are so grateful for her. She's such a good girl. She's such a good example to us and most of all to her younger siblings. Like Brandon said, much more to come on this. Make sure you come back. Tomorrow's going to be another awesome vacation day before we head out to Florida. We'll see you all then. Love you guys. Good, good night, night, everybody. Good morning, everyone! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Guys, what up? Welcome into kind of like day one of vacation. I don't know. This is a very weird it day. It's like a floater waiter day for the next vacation. I don't know what's going on, but I do know mom started her day with a run around this beautiful body of water right outside our door here. It was amazing. Incredible. She said running at sea level, whole new ball game. If she didn't get a blister, she'd still be running. Yeah, I'd probably run home actually. <laughs> run to Florida. Well, that would be something. Speaking of that, tomorrow morning, very early, we are heading out to Florida. So today, gonna take advantage of a little bit of fun in the sun here in San Diego. The last time we came here was for Maddie's graduation. And we picked up an acai bowl on Mission Beach oh. that I still haven't stopped thinking about. Oh, that was last so summer. Good. So that's how we're gonna start today. We're gonna go grab an acai bowl at Juice Wave on Mission Beach. Woo! And then we're gonna wait for it to get a little bit warmer. We're gonna hit the pool, do a full pool day. And if we can, we'd love to get Maddie to join us, maybe answer some of your questions following her insane mission call opening yesterday, you guys. She's gonna be serving a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in the Dominican Republic. She will be hermana. Bingham. Bingham. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do that right? Big, big update, big news yesterday. Kids are just excited to go get in the pool and have some fun. We're gonna start off with an acai ball. And then like I said, we will bring Maddie in and hopefully answer all of your mission questions. We posed the question out there. Oh, sorry, dude, I just punched in the face. The question, the question, the question. We posed the question out there on Instagram, at this is how we bing them. Ask us all of your mission questions. And then we're gonna see if we can get Maddie to answer some of those today, if we can sync yeah. up with her. She's got a lot going on following yeah. opening that call. We're getting ready to head out to Florida. So as much as we can, we're gonna hang out with her. First order of business, head to the beach, grab an acai ball. Breakfast! Need breakfast. Let's do it.
got our acai bowls and some smoothies. We got our own little slice of heaven. Little, I don't even know what this is. These are so pretty. You have to take a picture and post it to the gram. We're just gonna sit here, have a delicious breakfast beach side. Not technically the beach, it's over there on that side. Still, white sand and water and acai bowls. Doesn't get much better than this. All right, I don't think there's anything better. Sitting here eating my breakfast, watching these kids play, watching Brexton dance, <laughs> watching Hazy dance. Those boys are having so much fun over there trying to build a sand castle with dry sand. Pretty dang beautiful backdrop there. had those acai bowls and they were better than I remembered. And they the hype so was this high. The bar had been set a year ago and somehow it beat my own memory of those things. It's they were amazing. Higher. They were so freaking good. So then kids had a little bit of fun playing here in the sand, yeah. overlooking the water. Now, time to take the fun back to the hotel. We're gonna make it a pool day. Front flips. Let's see how this goes. Ooh. And a back flip. Let's do it again. We've come out poolside here and it is absolutely gorgeous. The scenery is unreal. You've got these palm trees going off into the blue sky that goes off into the ocean. Kids are playing in the water. Just using their diving toys, all the fun stuff that mom bought. Just got off the phone with Jared and Britt. We have app. Oh wait, have we even said that that's who we're gonna go see? <laughs> I feel like it's out there. Okay, well, I'm gonna just leave that in there and now you guys know, we're going to Fort Lauderdale tomorrow to visit Jared and Britt, check out their home digs, where they hang, where they walk fin, where they go swimming. We wanna see all the things Jared and Britt, you guys. So that's why we're going to Fort Lauderdale tomorrow. We were locking down some of the final plans. I think they're actually gonna be able to check into our house for us early and pick up our rental car. That way we can just get off the plane after a long day of travel, walk right up to the car, jump in, have Rondi take us back to our house. Rondi. Jared and Britt are going next level, you guys, stocking the house with groceries. They want our Costco list. They want to have everything ready. We cannot wait to head out tomorrow, go see them. And we've got all those plans dialed in, nailed down. Now we're waiting for Maddie to come. She's on her way to the pool right now. We're going to grab some lunch here poolside and answer all of your questions about her upcoming mission. Everything you guys have asked us on Instagram at this is how we bring them. We're going to have Maddie weigh in, tell you all about it. It's coming up next. Don't touch your feet. <laughs> Hi. Why are you laughing at me? There's like this creeper off to the side of the camera. Whoa, I've never seen that from the lens part. It like opens up all big. Yeah, I can see every pore in your face right now. <laughs> a lot of them. Anyways, you guys, Maddie came to join us. It's about time that we need to order up some food. So we're gonna have a little bit of food poolside here with these gorgeous views. No, I'm not talking about you. This gorgeous view. Where's the hair? Where's the hair? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Ducky, will you get that? Eating poolside here. We got all the good stuff. Maddie's got a chicken Caesar salad. I actually got the same thing. I was afraid everyone would make fun of me if I got it by myself, but Maddie's got my back got when it comes you. to salads. We got some Parmesan fries coming in clutch. We got crew and the boys all pretty much got chicken tenders with fries. And Brexy Doodle got his own entire cheese pizza over there and it's almost gone already. <laughs> All right, guys, we are poolside right now, literally pool right there. Mm -hmm. Taking a quick break from our lunch. Was it an okay lunch? It was a great lunch. You enjoyed your Caesar? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for joining us on our Q&A portion of This Is How We Bingham. Today we're going to be interviewing the lovely Madison Bingham, or she will be soon known as Hermosa. Nope, not Hermosa. No. Well, that too. I mean, it's beautiful. Is it? Oh, does it? Yeah. It's beautiful sister Bingham. Hermana Bingham. Hermosa Hermana Bingham. Future right here, missionary here. In the flesh. Future missionary. Got that out of the way. But you guys, we asked you for your questions on at This Is How We Bingham at Instagram. You guys flooded us with questions. Now, there were a lot of like commonalities, like a lot of very similar questions. Yeah. So we're going to answer as many as we can. We think that by answering just a few of them, we might be able to cover pretty much everything. We've got a few of them here. We're going to go through them. These are the questions that you guys asked on Instagram. Maddie, I'll go ahead and just do this interview style with you. Thank okay. you for joining us today. We really appreciate yes, you taking the time. thank you for having me. I know you've got a busy schedule. You just found out you're going to be living in the Dominican Republic for a while. A lot I, of yep. things you got to take care of. So thank you for stepping away today and joining us poolside for it's this my interview. It's my pleasure, really. First of all, we just mentioned that you will be serving in the Dominican Republic. One yes. of the questions that we got asked a lot, how do you know where you're going to serve? Can you pick where you serve? Do you get to choose? No, you don't get to choose. You can indicate like on the application that you fill out to apply to be a missionary. You can indicate like if you want to go foreign or learn a language, something like that. At the end of the day, you don't have any say in it. It goes up to the church and they decide and then it's a surprise. Those are honestly, like she said, they're just preferences. Like, yes, I would yeah. love to speak another language. I would love to go to another country. But a lot of times it just comes back, hey, we need you to stay away from where you are and that's yeah. just where you go and you serve that's why last night was such a big deal because none of us knew where she was going to go until she read those words in that email yeah. you're assigned to labor in the in the dominican republic <laughs> Could have been anywhere in the anywhere world. Anywhere in the world. Maddie, another question that we got asked, does everyone go on a mission? Does everyone in the church serve a mission? So no, not everyone goes on a mission. It's a choice that you make. Girls, they're eligible to go when they're 19, and for boys, it's 18. If you feel like that's something that's right for you, then it's what you do. It's actually cool. They just changed it to 18 for boys and 19 for girls, because it used to be 19 for boys. That's when I went, when I was yeah. 19. And then, I don't remember what girls was. I thought it was like 20. 20, 21. Yeah, it was like late. That's why it feels so insane to see you open a mission call because I'm like wait she's only 18 brand new in the last year or two that you go at this earlier age that's a great question though it is an absolute complete choice and that was 100% her choice doesn't have to church doesn't require it for any reason at all she just felt like it's something that she wanted to do we're really proud of her for it it's very cool so that actually knocks out another one a lot of questions about what age you go on a mission so that kind of clarifies that 18 for boys 19 for girls but then you can also choose to go later if it's not something that you yeah. feel you're ready for at 18 I've seen guys go at 19 20 21 22 I, there is a cap at some point I don't know where that is you get to go a couple's mission maybe later in life like my parents are on right now it really never ends the opportunities for that another question that we have here maddie did your dad your father did he serve a mission oh yeah, I think my dad did serve a mission, mm, actually. I believe surprising. he served in Brazil. Oh, really? Yeah. I think he's the kind of guy that couldn't hack that. Seems like that'd be kind of a hard mission, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> That's just what I've heard. Yeah. I don't have any evidence of it, though. <laughs> I showed you scrapbooks. Yes, I did. I served a mission in Brazil in Recife. The R makes a H huh sound. Uh, when I opened my call, as you did last night, I read my mission to be the Recife South <laughs> Mission. <laughs> and I, I was nervous <laughs> about that opening mine. I'm like, what if I pronounce it You butcher it, it. You'll remember it forever. And, of course, yours is on video video for everyone to remember too, but Santiago, yeah. Santiago, Dominican Republic, you nailed it. I was Recife, Brazil, which I learned later was Recife, Brazil. And yes, I served there for two years back in 19, should I say? No, it was a while ago. Served a long <laughs> time ago for two years and I freaking loved it. We were joking about that at the pool. It's like all these people are sharing the mission stories and saying like, oh, this person loved this mission. They love their mission. It's like nobody really ever comes back and goes, oh man, that mission was terrible. I hated yeah, that mission. No matter uh, where you go, everyone, everyone loves Everyone loves it. You serve. love it. You love serving. Yeah. And I think that's just like a little life hack, I guess. Anytime you lose yourself in the service of others, you find it to be a great time. That's what she's yeah. going to be doing for the people of the Dominican Republic. Guaranteed to give me a great time. This is a great question, one that would cross any parent's mind. How do you communicate with the people at home? And will you be able to like come home or visit, go back and forth to your mission? How does that work? On the mission, no one can visit you and you can't leave or visit anyone. You're just there and like devoted to teaching people about the church, serving people. And then you can communicate with like your friends and family through email mostly. A lot of missionaries now are using social media like Facebook to wow. communicate. And this is all new to me, honestly, guys, because when I... Yeah. Did it, we would write a letter, they'd give it to the guy who got right. on the horse, and then he would write it. <laughs> okay, to well, them. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> but really, though, the whole technology thing was not around when I did mine, so there was no email necessarily. It was like very early on, certainly no social media. So yeah, the fact that you can communicate like via Facebook, tool. email, it's not going to feel as distant. What about phone yeah. calls? I don't know if you already answered that. What about phone no, calls? Oh, yeah. So I believe every Monday, which is like your prep day as a missionary, you can call home, FaceTime your wow. family. So that's also very new, guys. 
realized when I was on my mission, you could call home on Christmas and Mother's Day. Yeah. Two phone calls a year, and they were Christmas and Mother's Day. Yeah. Sorry, Dad, you got left out of that one. <laughs> That's new. A lot more communication, which I think yeah. is nice. It makes it a little bit easier of a transition for parents who are having a hard time saying goodbye to their kids, and then also for the kids who get yeah. out there on their own for the first time, they still got that connection to mommy if they need it. <laughs> I need it. Next up, guys, the timeline. When is this going down? When does it happen? When does it start? How does it start? I found that out last night. That was all in the letters. When yeah. do you leave or start the mission? I'll start my mission October 19th. Okay. That's when I'll go into the MTC, which is the Missionary Training Center, where I'll be taught the language. I'm going to be speaking Spanish. Just learn how to teach people for about six weeks. And after that, I'll go on over to the Dominican Republic. And guys, that's <laughs> kind of crazy because when you're learning a foreign language, Maddie's got a great background in Spanish, but like I didn't know any Portuguese. I did the same thing, went to the MTC for six weeks, and then they dropped me off in Brazil. And it's like, well, now you Here get you to go. learn real Portuguese because they don't speak it like they did in the training center. Yeah. But you know a lot of Spanish already. You got a leg up on that. They'll just get her ready on how to interact with people and talk to people and share messages of this type and then just how to serve and how to speak the language and then you're off. It's six weeks, guys. That is not much time to mm -hmm. set you up for the next 18 months of your life. Then I'll be in the Dominican Republic for 18 months. Questions about that, the 18 months versus two years. The dudes do two years because they just need a little more work on themselves. <laughs> and then the so. sisters do 18 months because they can figure it out a lot faster than the dudes. <laughs> so that's why I think it's that way. All of a sudden, it's got really sunny, which is awesome. We're baking in the sun while we do this, getting a tan while answering missionary questions. It doesn't get any better than that. Here's a good one. Is Sam going to be serving a mission? Your roommate, many people have come to know and love. Is she yes. also going to be serving a mission? Sam is going to be serving a mission. That's She's so going cool. to be serving in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. I have a friend group of like four boys and four girls. All eight of us are going on missions. That's wow. pretty awesome. That's incredible. Yes, it's going to be like hard for them to separate, but I think it's cool you're going roughly the same time. Go up on your missions, yeah. come back, get back together again. It's going to be awesome. A lot of people asking how you pay for a mission or if you get paid to go on a mission or if the church pays for it. It varies the ways that you do pay for a mission. It's not anything that you're paid for. It is a volunteer service. Families will pay for it if they can. So in our situation, the family will be paying for Maddie's mission. If they're not able to though, the church is able to help out and supplement that. Next question that I have for you, Hermana Bingham. Uh, <laughs> what do you do on a mission? What exactly happens on a mission? What are you going to go do there? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. On a mission, I'm going yeah. to be teaching people about our church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Absolutely. Basically just sharing the message of the gospel, message of Christ, serving. Like it's very unique time in your life when you have nothing else going on. You don't have like a job yeah. to worry about. You don't have college studies to worry about. You're mm -hmm. only there to just serve others. It's yeah. a, an unreal experience you can't replicate because we've talked about the communication and being able to visit and all these different things. All these distractions that life naturally presents, they're mm -hmm. all removed and all you have is you and serving the people that you're with and the Lord. And so she's going to be going out there to serve, share a gospel message, tell people about Christ, bring them unto Christ, and then just serve them however they need. When that time's up, the service never stops, the missionary work never stops, you just continue to do good everywhere you go, but you will then have to go back into like getting a job and worrying about grades and all these different things that life throws at you that kind of pull you away from those things, but this is a dedicated time of service where nothing gets in the way of doing that. So that's really what a mission is. And I will have a companion on my mission so I won't just be by myself walking around the Dominican Republic. Yes, always in twos, yeah, so she'll yeah. Have a companion. It won't always be the same person, but it's kind mm -hmm. of like, you know, Sam's been her right hand woman. Yeah, definitely. Her bestie <laughs> in college. Same idea. They'll kind of rotate through companionship so mm -hmm. they do everything together in twos. Okay, Maddie, so pool is kind of calling our name. I think we've got time for probably a couple more questions. Okay. One that I see here, why did you choose to serve a mission? We now know that it is a choice. Why did you choose to serve? I've always kind of considered the idea of serving a mission, like since I was really young. And then since coming to BYU, it was like, okay, it's time to actually decide if you're going to go or not. My faith grew a lot being at BYU. It's a church school. I just had a lot of experiences that reassured me that this is what I needed to do. I swear the Lord needs me. So that's why I chose to serve a mission. That is like so well stated, it's so well said, and I love the way that you articulated that because it is a very big decision. It's not something that you just wake up one morning and decide to do. I mean, sometimes people do do that, honestly. They just yeah. get hit in the face with this like thought, like, I, I need to go serve. No doubt you're going to be an amazing missionary. Thank we are you. so proud of this decision, and we would have been totally cool if you decided not to. You know yeah. what I mean? And so to hear you explain it as to why you wanted to and why you chose to, we just feel great about that. So speaking of BYU, because that's been integral in all of this, and it's yeah. also been a huge part of your life. You just finished your first semester of college. Nope, for 
college year. Of college. <laughs> your first year of college, your freshman year at BYU is in the books. Probably the number one most asked question is what is next for college then? There's a lot of questions around that. What about your scholarship? You have to reapply when you come back. Are you going to be doing schooling while you're gone or is everything on hold? So just kind of tell us in a nutshell what's going to go on with BYU in your time there. Yeah, so basically everything there just gets put on hold until I get back so I can defer my scholarship and my admission. Just being a student at BYU, I just defer that for a year and a half. BYU being a church school is very understanding. A lot of their students go on missions. Yeah, so. very common for them to have people leave to go on a mission. That is one thing that is great specifically about BYU. They're very understanding of this. So she will just have her schooling basically put on pause. Doesn't lose anything for going on this mission. Isn't set back at all. Just the time, I guess. And so she'll go out, serve a mission, come back. Scholarship will resume. Doesn't have to reapply. Doesn't have to go through any of that process. She'll just resume back into her classes when she gets back. Yeah. And she does plan on going back to BYU when she returns, Definitely, right? Definitely, yeah. Okay. Another question really quick just to wrap this up. People asked if we could go and visit her. Now, I don't think technically there's anything against us just showing up in your mission. However, for her to be able to stay focused, that is not something that we would do. We would not go and interrupt that. We would let her stay focused. But what we do plan on doing is going to pick her up from her mission. It's something that a lot of people do to go see where she's been living, what she's been experiencing, the culture, all of those different things. And so you go and you kind of go on a family vacation. We were just talking about it today at the pool. If we would want to go before she's officially released from her mission so that we can kind of see all that she's been doing, but then she can't really engage in some of the other activities like going to the beach and going to the pool and things like that. Right. Or do we want to wait until she's come home, she's officially been released, and then we all go back out there as a family where she can enjoy the beaches and some of the things like that while yeah. still sharing her mission with us. And that is something that we 100% plan on doing is going and seeing her mission, the Dominican Republic. You can put it on the calendar. There's a Bingham family vacation coming up in the something next 18 to look months. Forward to. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. But we got to get back to this vacation for now. We got yes. a, another few hours here with you, and then we're going to take off to Florida tomorrow. Thank you, Madison, for joining us today, answering these questions, the burning questions of Instagram. I think that we've all been educated and edified. Happy well, to do it. Love you. <laughs>
<laughs> okay guys, as you might expect, in order to get up in the middle of the night and begin your travel adventures, you do have to have a lot of things ready the night before. So mom has got all of the carry-ons laid out here in a row for the kids. She's got all of their outfits laid out with their flip-flops right on top, ready to go, ready to jump ready. into them. We are ready to rock. Finishing up a bag packing here. We got more in here. And then I'm the one over here who's putting all the vlog gear away from editing the vlog last night and getting that uploaded so that it can go live on YouTube while we are in the friendly skies. We are just about ready to head out the door. Gotta get kids in their clothes the sleepers out of their eyes hit the road just dropped off that rental car gonna be hard to say goodbye to that bad boy we loved riding in that thing Mindy says it's not the last time we're gonna see one of those. But right now, we are kind of coordinating seats, who wants to sit by who and where. And I think on this flight, from here to Atlanta, we have like two middle rows of three. So there are no window seats. So unfortunately, the video is gonna suffer, no takeoff and landing. However, I did ensure that on our flight, the connecting flight from Atlanta to Florida, we do have some window seats. And the kids are just talking about how cool that's gonna be to see the ocean as we fly into Florida. But also, trying to explain to Hazy that we have two flights today. She was getting confused on who she's gonna sit by on which flight. We have two flights today. First one, all the way to Atlanta. Oh, there's the shuttle. Do you want to try and rush and grab that one or do you care? We're here with plenty of time, guys. We got time. Then the second one being from Atlanta to Fort Lauderdale today. Oh, we're running for this one. Here we go. Hey, let's get it. They might not have another one the rest of the day. Hurry. <laughs> it's 4.15 in the morning. All right, guys, getting a shot of the sunrise on the west coast. We'll be watching the sun set tonight on the east coast, dipping into the water so the sun just came up and over the ocean. Here in California, you're gonna go watch it set in Florida into the ocean. That is so crazy, coast to coast today. Strike that, reverse it. Scratch everything I just said. I did that actually in reverse order because we originally were gonna go to Florida first, watch the sun rise in the east, and then set into the ocean on the west. However, we flip flop those trips, and so we're watching the sun rise here in California, we're going to watch it set in Florida, neither of which will be over the ocean. Who cares? It's all Awesome. They're on their second round of snacks right now. How are you liking your new headphones? Um, I love them. They work pretty good? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you like the almonds too? Okay, we're almost to our first stop, and then we can get some real food, and then one more plane to go. Good. Okay, love you. Good. How are you doing? Good. You enjoying the flight? It's been pretty good so far, huh? Yeah. Love you. We have arrived in Atlanta. We are going to grab a quick bite to eat. We are very nearly there. In fact, right, I was just looking up the mileage. It is like closer from here to Fort Lauderdale than it is from our home to San Diego, if that makes sense. So basically, we are approaching our final destination of Fort Lauderdale. So we're going to grab a quick bite to eat, hang out here in the airport. We actually arrived about 40 minutes early, so getting here early is fantastic, except that we're not at our final destination. We still have another flight to get on, so that just means an extra hour here in the airport. So we're going to be here for about three hours, killing some time before we jump on the plane. We just got off the phone with Jared and Britt. They let us know everything is set up for the house, everything is ready to go with the rental car, they are taking care of everything. They're stocking in the fridge. They've gone on a grocery run. Literally everything taken care of for us. They are incredible and amazing. We can't wait to see them after a short layover and a quick flight. So just telling the kids that my favorite part about layovers in the airport, going to the airport at all is just watching the planes take off and land. We're just watching the planes get fueled up, bags loaded, talking about the landing gear, going up and down, watching planes take off and land. And I grew up just near Dulles International Airport in Virginia. We could watch them take off and land all day long. Me and my dad used to love doing that. So sharing in that same experience here with the kids. Oh, there goes one of their guys, huge Delta one, look at that.
It's a pleasure to welcome you to Fort Lauderdale, local time here, approximately 6.46 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. Where's mom? I'm looking for her. There's right guy. In Florida, Fort Lauderdale. We are here. We forgot mom. She's nowhere to be found. Oh, wait, there she is. We are an hour or more later than we were supposed to be arriving. Had some hangups. Leaving Atlanta. Had some hangups when we got here to Florida. They couldn't get us to a gate, and so poor Jared has been out there probably circling in our rental car, <laughs> waiting to pick us up. I've heard that Brittany's made us dinner back oh at the house. Oh my gosh. That could be getting cold. We don't know. Nevertheless, we are ready to bask in their hospitality and the warm sun of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He's gonna grab our bag, go find Rondi. Rondi! And go check out this house. Hi, right, Mom, who are we waiting for? Rondi! Our driver, Rondi, is on his way to pick us up from the airport. Almost here. Rondi has arrived and our ride is here. Randy, thank you. I don't know how else you get in this thing. Rondi has a nice ride. <laughs> Randy, I'm digging your ride, bro. Randy's got something for us. Okay, that's how you know. That's how you know. Woo! <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, baby. That is first class five star service right there from Jared and Britt. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Florida. He's got the Florida gear on like I've never seen before. Dude, this is amazing. Thank you, bro. This is freaking awesome. Hold up, Randy brought us our favorite drinks. We got a Diet DB, we got lemonades for the kids. We got oh, everything, bro. Man. Randy knows yeah. what's up. <laughs> this is the Florida I, version of Randy. His I name is Jared. Name Randy. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived, we've been picked up by, it's not Randy, you know yeah. who it is, it is Jared. Yeah, but we all came here to see Brittany, so let's go see Brittany. <laughs> 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 She's back at the house preparing his dinner because that's how amazing these guys are. Let's go check out this house, go say hi to Brent, and have some food. <laughs> Because we haven't seen oh them God. since California Pizza oh Kitchen. That is crazy to think. Yeah. That's weird. It honestly doesn't feel like it's been as long as it has. Oh Raga, my gosh. Are you kidding Raga's me? Raga's going to be taller than Brittany, I think. Oh my gosh. I swear. I swear she was like right here. Guys, this is crazy. We have not seen them since California Pizza Kitchen. Saying goodbye. Neighbors across the street. Shoo! Check it out. This is our pad. This is where we'll be living for the next few days while in Florida. Cannot wait to show you every inch of this house, but more importantly, the amazing backyard. Let's go there right now for some dinner. <laughs> we have made it to Florida, people. Woo! Whoa, it opens up to full. Whoa, what? Holy cow. Oh, no way. Look at this. Casey's going right to it. The Florida grab bag of summer fun. Let's go. Summer vacation has begun. Fort Lauderdale. Look at that. We got Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is oh and a football. We were gonna get a football to throw at the beach. Yes, yes, dude. This is awesome, you guys. This is insane. Oh my gosh, you guys are the greatest. That is so cool. Boogie boards, freaking inflatable inner tubes. Holy sheesh. This is so freaking sick. Guys, look at this open air entryway that goes straight out to glass and a pool. What? What? Guys, hold up, hold up. Wait, the pool is literally right here? Oh, look at this. There's my foot. There's the pool. Foot, pool, foot, pool. Guys, this is where we are chilling for the next five days. You got the waterways right back there. Cannot wait to get out there, you guys. We should eat dinner out there if you guys wanted to. Pool right here. This is amazing. Is that our boat? We get a boat with this? We got kayaks, stand-up paddleboard, jet skis, everything, you guys. Oh, dude, look behind you, dude. Look at how massive Whoa, this I'm is. So Holy cow, you guys. This is home, baby. Fort Lauderdale. It's growing on me, guys. It's growing on me. Look at this. Look at this kitchen. Oh, I see dinner. And I am so freaking hungry. I see dinner. Oh, my gosh. Guys, look at this. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Wait, jet skis, kayaks, paddleboards. Oh, my gosh. All of this stuff, you guys. Pool right over there. Oh, holy crap. Dad, we have two this place is blowing my mind. We are now out on our back dock. Literally the back of our house. This is our house right on the water. We've got a pool right there. They've got a boat, jet skis, paddle boards, kayaks, everything for fun. Oh guys, look at that. Bottom up out of the water. So you've got a jet ski right there, two jet skis. Holy cow. This is what we are calling home for the rest of this vacation while we chill and hang with Jared and Britt. Let's go find our room. Let's go eat. Let's go get settled in and expect a full house tour coming up soon. No, wait, hold on. What is this? This is Can not. I live in your guys' bathroom. Your wait, hold on. The size of a house. Hold on. This is one bedroom. This is the bathroom. Are you joking me? 
what? This is the master bedroom? Are yeah, you joking me? Thing. What in the heck? This Dude, is huge. this is ginormous. Huge. I was like, what is down this hallway? He's like, that's not a hallway. That's your room. Oh my gosh. So those doors shut, closing off the master suite. And over oh. here we've got, okay, these closets. I mean, it's pretty decent. Mindy can probably get a few of her things in there. We've got a workout room in here. Holy cow. Bathroom is insane. There's a full fridge in here with ice and everything. What do you need a fridge in your bathroom for? Oh my this gosh. Shower. This is gonna take a little quick walk through the shower here. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up? And I'm going back through. <laughs> hey guys, hey. All right, that's enough, that's enough. This house is insane. I get it, house is insane. Yeah. Pool towels, beach towels, Mindy. This is, no, this is just our room. <laughs> this is oh, not oh, top floor, this is just the room. Closet. Another bedroom in here that actually connects through a bathroom, a little Jack and Jill bathroom into this bedroom. We could do Brex and Kruby in those. And then, hey, you girls, you got your own room? And then just take a walk across this here, guys. Come on down, just come on through here. We're looking for that last bedroom. I demand another bedroom. There's not enough bedrooms in this home. Oh, okay, they've got one. <laughs> this place is ridiculous. This place is ridiculous. All right, should we eat, Mindy? Yeah, let's, let's eat. eat. Let's go get some food. Holy cow. I don't know if five days is gonna be enough, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Are you telling me, Mindy, that the pantry comes fully stocked? Yes. If you're hosted by Jared and Britt? Look at this, Look fully at this. stocked All pantry. This. They went and got us at Costco. I'm Breakfast here. is over here. You guys are absolutely incredible. <laughs> Holy Why cow. We're Florida, we're gonna stock you guys. <laughs> you guys know the way to fun is through our stomachs. Oh my gosh, hold up, we got drinks, MTV what? Cruise. Oh my gosh, look at this. What are you drinking, bro? <laughs> wow. We have arrived here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida to the most amazing and greatest welcome anyone could ever imagine. I mean, Woo the sign, Rondi, <laughs> and a meal made for us. We've got food on the table, we've got a fully stocked pantry, we've got fun games and activities for the kids. This is going to be the most insane five days you've ever witnessed, so you want to make sure you are following, <laughs> you are subscribed, you've got the bell on, you want to know everything that's going down, and you want to make sure you are following Jared and Britt as well, because they're going to be vlogging the whole thing also. And this is their daily life, you guys. Like, we're living I it up know. for a few days, but this is their life on the daily. She might not ever go back home. I have no good reason oh, to. We hope you guys stay. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. We made it safely a full day of travel coast to coast. We watched the sun set here in Florida, rise in California. And now we're going to set ourselves into bed. We'll come back tomorrow for a lot of fun in the sun. We love you guys so much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Said it, but I'm not gonna steal that from you on the very first day of vacation, baby. We are in sunny Florida. Waking up our first morning here in Florida, I woke up, looked around, and I was just like, I can't believe it. This is like a dream. I can't it believe we're actually here. Like a dream. Mom went for a run this morning out there in the humid, hot, sunny streets of Fort Lauderdale. She came back soaking wet. Check out our Instagram literally for that. Perfect. At this is how Bingham and at Mindy's best. She was literally soaking Brandon's head to like, toe. Please don't drip on my don't. <laughs> She came in to show me, and I was like, don't drip all over the laptop. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, Jared and Britt have already set out today. They are already at at the beach, they've staked a location for us, they've set up chairs, towels. We're just barely leaving the house. These guys are incredible. If you're not following their adventure, it's Jared and Britt on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description as well as a little card right here. You guys can check them out. They're gonna be vlogging this entire week as well. Their stuff is amazing. This is their normal life. This is their day to day. Uh, every time I watch one of their vlogs and it's got Jared's drone video, I'm like, that looks like it's a scene out I of a know. movie. Oh, <laughs> it's so amazing. As I was on my run today, I was like, maybe we should sell our lot. No, here. no, I, there is a lot across the street available. I'm just saying, but no, we no, love our lot. We can't we wait. Love it where we to get building our home. But for views, now, views. this is our home. This is how we bing them for the next five days. And it's going to be an incredibly beautiful adventure. And it's starting off at the beach. Oh, 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 
just arrived to our own little slice of paradise, little piece of heaven on earth. And look at this, Jared and Britt have got the entire thing set up for us already. They came out early today, set up chairs, umbrellas, brought all the fun play toys. And this is where we're gonna be chilling today, guys, right here on the white sand beaches of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, overlooking all these cruise ships, unfortunately just parked out there, but making a gorgeous backdrop, reminding us of better days when cruising was actually a thing. This is where we're gonna be hanging out today. This is where we're gonna be partying up and down this beach for as long as we can handle the heat, baby. So we are told that one of the things that shocks people the most, first of all, coating the sunscreen, UV very high here in Florida. But we are told one of the things that shocks people the most is when they hit that ocean for the first time, realizing just how warm the ocean water is. It is warm. What do you think? We were just in California yesterday, well, dipped our toes didn't. in the ocean. I actually did it. I did. It was cold. Now, this is like bath water, guys. This is like just literally, oh my gosh, with the perfect little rolling waves for the kids to play in. This is heaven on earth, you guys. And this is Jared and Britt's home. I feel like every time I go to the ocean and it's this clear of water, I owe this to the public as like a PSA, public service announcement. But you can open your eyes underwater in the ocean. I have been to the beach a billion times and never realized that I thought the salt water required you to keep your eyes closed, helicopter. Anyway, that is not the case because what happened is once on a cruise with Mindy, coming at you, Rugger! It was so clear in the ocean, I forgot it was the ocean. And so I opened my eyes under the water like it was a pool. I had on sunglasses and I came back out. Eyes not burning, didn't hurt at all. I realized, wait a minute, I just came out from the ocean with my eyes open. Can you open your eyes underwater? I used to say in movies when people would open their eyes underwater in the ocean, I was like, well, that's fake. Have you ever seen Into the Blue? Or I think it's Into the Blue. I don't know. It's a Paul Walker movie. They're swimming around with their eyes open and I'm like, fake. You can't open your eyes into the water in the ocean. Well, guess what, guys? I'm here to tell you, you can. It doesn't hurt any worse than being in the pool. I'm going to prove it to you right now. Here we go. Literally doesn't oh, even yeah. hurt at all. Now you know, next time you're at the ocean, if you got beautiful blue clear water, open your eyes, look around, because it's a sight to be all. Drag and I just snuck away down there. We saw some jet skis out on the beach that they're setting up for rentals. We passed with they had a couple we could take out for the next hour. They've got some available, so we haven't told anybody yet. We're gonna grab our wallet, go pay for them, and then come pick them up on jet skis. Let's do it. Let's go. You guys wanna go around on those jet skis over there? Shut up. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Who wants to go around on jet skis? <laughs> Should we go get on some jet skis, baby? Let's go, baby. Wow. Yeah, you guys yeah, we just went and rented jet skis. So, <laughs> I wanted to come pick you up on them, but we can't come past this line because this is for swimming. We're just gonna like ride over and be like, hey guys, get on the back. So, we got jet skis for the next hour. Let's go get them. You boys ready to hit the waves on some jet skis? Let's go! <laughs> so we grabbed two jet skis, two two-seaters for the next hour. We may come back at the half hour and pick up the ladies, Rex and Hazy, right now. None of those four even want to go. Not as down for it as we are, but we're going to set this thing up a notch, take a full bingham, go get on some jet skis, and go cruise out in the open ocean, baby. This is too insane, you guys. Cruise jet ski is number 12, KB12 going out on the 12 jet ski. Let's go, baby. We have ridden jet skis in a lot of places, dude. Tahoe, Aruba, Lake Powell, so many different places. I don't know that we've ever had like pretty good sized waves. First have we done them. St. Martin, all over the place. This is gonna be a first as we head out here through this kind of like slow no wake zone. There are some pretty good sized rollers coming in that we could get some serious air on. Oh. We're heading out yeah. into the ocean right now. Jet skis, we got Jared and crew on the KB12 jet ski out there. Ready? This is some pretty clear water, you guys. This is insane. Jared just said sometimes you see dolphins out here. We got some yachts coming up on the other side. We've got some pretty wide open area to play with. We can go end to end on these yellow buoys and as deep as they can see us. So unfortunately, they said the cruise ships are out of the question, but we can still have a lot of fun out here. And if we get a little ways out, we gotta let Ragga have a turn. Oh yeah. out of the water. Holy crap. Woo! KB12 back in his element, baby. Oh, That's yeah. what I'm talking about. We got Rye Guy on the wow. wheel. Let's hit it, baby. Woo!
Oh yeah, baby! Woo! We've just been comparing who's got the jet ski out of the water the furthest so far. Both of them have come completely out of the water. This is a totally different kind of jet skiing out here in this ocean with these little weights. And these are just little guys, but you can catch some serious air out here. I do want to get in this water. It's so nice. I kind of want to just get out and swim. I don't know if I want to get in just yet. Maybe just right guys. Oh. Classic, classic, bro, classic. That's a classic ride right guy at Ruba, baby. Woo! They are not kidding when they say that this water is like warm bath water. This is the most incredibly warm water I can remember swimming in. Pop your merch. This is Bingham.com. You ready to pick me up? Right. Yeah, can I get a ride, sir? Thank you. I've been floating out here for days. <laughs> Hey, Rondi, thank you for the ride, Rondi. That was pretty lit. I think Jared's having the time of his life, maybe even more than crew. <laughs> Throttle, catching air. That was incredible, you guys. That was so fun. Now, I think Brittany's gonna got us some lunch. Delicious subs, sandwiches, things like that. So let's go freaking yeet, baby. Do after it. we yeet it. We have come back to Jared and Brittany's place. You guys, this is where they live. This is their life. This is their daily grind right here. Chilling poolside with a view of the ocean. We've got this fun little like gazebo. I don't know what you would call this. It's like a little place to make food. We're making some sandwiches. Brittany went and got them from a deli nearby. We're just kind of assembling them here. We've got snacks. We've got fruit kebabs. We've got drinks. We've got water to hydrate after a fun day in the sun. Then more fun in the sun to come because after we eat, we're going to go to this pool right there. It literally looks out over the ocean. This is like spectacular. This is heaven on earth. Okay, I just gotta show you the scene, the vibe here. We are poolside. This is Jared and Britt's pool where they live. And just over there, you have the intercoastal and then you have the Atlantic Ocean. We're gonna jump in this pool, have some fun swimming out here. The UV index, which we are learning a lot about today, is at an 11, which apparently is as high as it goes. And you know we like to turn it to 11, just maybe not the UVs. We are sunscreening for the second time today. Probably we'll be doing a third application later. I'm trying to protect that skin because we've got a few more days here. We don't wanna burn out on the first day. I don't know what it is guys, but I feel like every one of our kids has learned how to swim or just decided to swim on a vacation somewhere. We were just talking about Brexton was tired of wearing floaties in Hawaii and so he just kicked them and started swimming in Hawaii. Hazy has now decided she's done with the floaties and just started swimming to Brit. I don't I don't know what it is. It's like with them with riding bikes. They just pick up a bike and start riding. They just decided that on this trip they want to swim. They don't want to do floaties anymore. And now Hazy's out there swimming around. Taking a break from the pool, we are back now at the pad. We're gonna get showered, changed up, refreshed, and then head out to this amazing dinner with Jared and Britta at a place that they highly recommend. All made from scratch, homemade pasta. It's a delicious Italian joint that they love, and that's what we told them when we came here. We just want to experience your life, what you do here, where you walk thin, where you go to the beach, where you swim in the pool, where your favorite restaurants are. And so far, we've done all of that today. I feel like we've made an entire vacation into one morning and afternoon today. So it's gonna be interesting to see how we top any of this in the coming days.
days, but right now, showering, freshening up, and then heading out for an amazing dinner. They brought us out to Louis Bosses. This place is so bomb. They had to get a reservation two weeks in advance. If you come on a weeknight, it's like an hour and a half to two hour wait. It is very, very popular, very hard to get into, but for very good reason. Starting things off with a little small charcuterie board right here, one of the things that they are popular and famous for. All the kids got made from scratch pasta, all the pasta made in-house from scratch. Cannot wait to try all the things that we got on the menu today, but I am already thinking about dessert. Just finished up a delicious meal that was fantastic. One of Jared and Bitt's favorite places. Totally worth it. Now we're gonna hit the town, walk the streets, see if we can see some supercars and get some super dessert. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have goosebumps. Hey, here we go. What's up? What's up? What's up? Woo! Cheese! We have seen supercars, we have snagged super desserts. Now we are walking back down the road, back to the car. This place is insane. Every third car is a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. We got dessert from three different places, so we made sure everyone was covered. We got a cannoli and a s'mores ice cream mix. We got caramel covered rice crispy treats dipped in sugar. You can't finish a delicious dinner without something super, super sweet. But now you guys headed back to the car, headed back to the place, gonna shut this day down and get ready for day two of epicness right here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, baby. Woo! Guys, me and Rex just chilling poolside out here in the backyard and all you can hear is the sound of supercars revving their engines up and down the streets. I've never seen so many supercars in my life in one night. This is the place to be if you want to flex that supercar muscle, huh, Brexy Doodle? Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, Brex, you're in the water. How is it? Good. It's pretty Feels good? Warm. Feels warm. I think tomorrow the plan is to spend most of the day out here at this pool, hanging out at our own place, maybe getting out the kayaks, paddle boards, jet skis, and hitting up the intercoastal, which is, oh, by the way, right there. We are just winding this night down. Wrapping up a full day of fun that today. Was a good day. It was like a full vacation in one day. We <laughs> did jet skiing, beach, pool, lunch, dinner, dessert, walk on the streets of Fort Lauderdale, check out supercars, came back to the house, chilled, went out by the pool, walked the dock. That's day one, people. I feel like we did everything we wanted to do on this trip in one day. So, so what are we gonna do tomorrow? You gotta come back and find out. We have an amazing plan set up for you guys, so make sure you come back, turn the notification on. If you guys aren't already following Jared and Brittany, make sure you go on over to their channel, give them a follow to see everything that's going on this week. We love you so much. Thanks for hanging, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello, and good morning, everyone. Guys, good morning from <laughs> our backyard in Florida. We got a pool boy, guys. A pool boy now. The Brexit Noodle, the pool boy. Cleaning the pool for us, because today, we're gonna be chilling at the pool today, yeah. hanging out in our pool. We may jump in this little river. I guess that's an ocean. What is this right there? I don't know. It goes out into Las the ocean. Olas. We're on Las Olas right now. Loving every minute of it. And today we're gonna start off our day with a little bike scooter ride with Jared and Britt. Yes. Grabbing Acai some balls. Acai balls. Acai balls if you're hazy. <laughs> that is the new one for this trip. Acai. Hawaii was Hawaii. Acai balls are Acai balls from Hazy. So good. I love it. <laughs> Starting things off poolside today. We plan on spending a lot of time here at the pool. It is another gorgeous sunny day here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Dude, I feel like we're getting a little bit more used to the humidity. Yesterday Does when I went for me? a run, I was dripping buckets. Last night we were like, oh, this isn't bad. It feels even better. And I'm sure the humidity fluctuates. Today, not feeling bad at all. So either we're getting used to it, we're straight up Floridians at this point, or maybe it's just not as humid of a day. Either way, we are gonna have a ton of fun in the sun. Once again, another day of full family fun vacation. Loving it. Starting off with Jared and Britt Asalibos, a little ride to the park.
starting off the day here at Playa Bowls. This comes again highly recommended from Jared and Britt. They've got so many different acai bowl varieties in there. Banana bases, coconut bases, pitaya, acai, acai, everything. Ordered up one for Jared and Britt. We're going to take it back to their place. Ordered up some for us. Kids playing some cornhole out here in the front. Then we're going to go take the bowls over to Jared and Britt's, have some breakfast together. And then there's a gorgeous park right near their house. It is perfect for like a scooter bike ride to start the day. We're going to have an acai bowl, go on a little scooter ride, bike ride, and head back to the house for some fun in the pool and probably get those kayaks, paddle boards out and just go through those canals in Los Olas, you guys. They call that like the Venice of Fort Lauderdale. We're gonna go check out every square inch of it, go check out the yachts out there, all the different boats. We another fun day here in Florida. Starting off with some breakfast. We're just out here just kind of drooling over all of these gorgeous yachts. And we happen to be right by a bridge that they raise anytime a boat comes through with a large antenna or a sail. And as we're standing here, they just sound the alarm. They rang the bell, whatever you call it. For this guy to go through, they stop traffic up there on this bridge. They're going to raise it straight up and down so that the boat can pass through. And they'll put the street back together let everybody drive through. But kind of cool that we're out here having breakfast and we get to see this just outside of Jared Britt's apartment. We've arrived on bikes, scooters, motorized devices, cars, and a giant GoPro pole at Hugh Taylor Birch I'm Park. With him. Oh, you're gonna claim that? I'm surprised. Normally she just goes on the other side of the street and goes, I don't know him. We just went up and over the bridge though. As it was raised, well, obviously we waited until it came back down. But then I got the GoPro pole like clear up in the air, got a shot of us going over the bridge. Very cool start to the bike ride today. Yes. This is a beautiful park filled with tons of crazy trees. So Jerry says there's even one in here that looks like it's out of Avatar. We're gonna go ride around bikes, scooters, check this place out, just enjoy another beautiful piece of Jared and Britt's home paradise Florida baby let's do it sea manatee crossing Holy cow, you guys, if you have seen Avatar and you know at the end when the Navi people bring him back to life, join his body with his avatar, his spirit and his soul, his mind, his presence, his essence. They did it right here. This is the tree actually. Brexton, you're gonna become a Navi. Now that we've climbed the avatar tree, it's time to head back out on the trail. There's a fun little loop that you can do here. We're gonna wrap that loop up, then head back to the house for some fun at the pool. Maybe break out the kayaks, paddle boards, and go sightseeing on some yachts, or at least next to them. How you doing back there, Mindy? Doing fantastic. Hanging in there? Thanks for asking, Brandon. I keep pulling the throttle, but mine continues to make me pedal. Do you know what's wrong with mine? <laughs> Last stop, we just had to stop and check out this sick house right here, right on the water. And then you've got these little waterways that go inside. This is very similar to where we're at, so the water's calling our name. Still nice, sunny, bright, beautiful out here. We're gonna head back now, finally, last stop. Going back to our place, getting in the pool, probably getting in this water. Back of the pad now, making some sandwiches, some lunch, setting stuff out on the island. And we're gonna have a fun little feast here in the house, courtesy of mom. Oh, technically well, Jared and Britt brought- Technically all, Jared and Brittany. Bought all the groceries and stocked the house before her even arrived. Because of their amazing generosity, we're going to have a feast fit for a family. We're gonna do bagel sandwiches, regular bread sandwiches. We've got some meat, cheese, tons of chips, candy, hummus, all the things. All the things, guys, and the party's gonna continue right here in this house, right out there at that pool, right there on that. I don't know if you call it a river. It's like part of the ocean. What do you call that? It like connects to the intercoastal, it's an island waterway. I don't know. If you know, comment know. below. You know. If you know, you know. Okay, you guys, so Hazy's been a little bit upset that she can't just swim freely with no floaties yet. She's not quite at that level. This pool is a pool she can't touch in. We told her she had to put her floaties on. She's pretty upset about that. Just wants to go free swimming. But Jared and Britt have a surprise up their sleeves, something that they got special just for her. It's going to turn her mood right around and save the day. They're bringing it out now. Hey, Hazy, 
<laughs> it's a flying unicorn. Oh my gosh, Hazel. You can sit in that in the pool. Now you have Pegasus. <laughs> Hazel, now you can swim. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys. Now it's a party. Now we got footballs, pool noodles, flying Pegasus, unicorns, inflatable inner tube. Let's party. <laughs> Talking about. having a blast out here in this pool. It's kind of rad. It goes literally right up to the living room. You can stand in there and high five somebody on the other side. But just outside there, we've got Brexy. Hi, Brexy. Brexy, by the way, the pool looks amazing. This is our pool boy right here, Brex. He cleaned this thing to perfection. Thank you, dude. Very, very clean. Now, I think I might be kind of fun to get some paddle boards, kayaks, something like that. Get out there on the water, go check out some of the yachts. You okay? Yeah. yeah. That's how you do the big and belly flop, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. This dry dock was up to here earlier today with the tide out. It has gone clear down there. You got to jump down to it. We're going to get these paddle boards out on this. Go sightseeing on some yachts. Right off our own back dock, we just jump in the water. I'm standing up paddle boards, heading down to go check out some yachts. Bro, does it get any sicker than this? <laughs> so apparently, sea manatees are incredibly calm in swimming through here. So we're kind of hoping we'll have a Puerto Rico moment. One will swim right up underneath us. I remember when I was a kid, I used to think that was so cool how they left the entire boat out of the water to keep it stored so it doesn't get anything on the bottom of it. That's pretty rad, dude. Rex and my savage little kayak are out here for round two. Gonna go check out these other houses and boats. Rexon's on the kayak. My captain, my captain. I love you, bro. Very sheesh worthy, that whole setup right there. Yeah, look at that anchor, man. Who's shining that anchor down there? Someone is hanging over the boat, shining an anchor. That is a piece of nautical awesomeness. Should we just see if they'll just take us out for a ride? Like, hey dude, can we just go for a quick ride? Is that cool? So we are just down here kayaking, paddleboarding. You got Jared and crew back behind us. We're sailing by yachts, gigantic waterfront property. This is like a dream come true. This is like a Florida dream come true. Just this float by these things. We don't even have to paddle. The wind's kind of pushing us out, which makes me a little nervous for the float back, but we're just cruising through here, sitting in kayak and just taking in all of the scenery. There's nothing really more Florida than this vibe right here. Who has the right away on this? Brexit Doodle, should we head back home? Yeah. This is our street. I guess if you call this a street, we just live on this street right here. Head on up, it's on the right. Boys are just getting back. Rexy, how was it? Good. Do you see any manatees? No. Brady and I have cleaned up everything inside, cleaned up the pool area. We're like winding down the pool time. It's hot. We're a little tired. We have dinner soon. We had to come out here and see if the boys made it back. And it looks like two may be struggling a little bit. <laughs> Brandon went out to rescue. <laughs> Brittany has kind of offered up anyone $100 to push Jared in. No one's taking me up on it yet. I mean, I would, but I don't want him to hate me. <laughs> I want him to still show me all the good restaurants. I just was saying, oh my gosh, it'd be so amazing if someone pushed him in. 
in. Jared, I dare you to jump in. Remember, $100 Oh my gosh, they're gonna go in. $100. $100? $100, $100 crew. Crew, push it in. <laughs> Got no really good reason to stand out in the middle of the street other than I've wanted to this entire time. But we are loading up the car and we're heading off to have dinner tonight at one of Jared and Bert's favorite taco joints, Tacos in Florida. Cleaned up, ready to rock, and ready for some great food to finish this day. Guys, we've arrived at one of their favorite joints, Taco Crab. We're gonna have some insanely good tacos, live music, incredible environment. You know how to treat us to the greatest Florida experience imaginable, dude. Ironically, Jared and I got the exact same taco trio here. We've got crispy shrimp taco, carne asada taco, and a chorizo taco with a fried egg on top. About to find out if this place lives up to the hype. Guys have talked up a it big will. game. It will. <laughs> mom got two carne asada tacos, and what's your last one, mom? Chicken out by store. Just coming out of Taco Craft, and I have to tell you right now, hands down, the best tacos I have ever had in my entire life, and I am not exaggerating you guys. They were so good. I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night, dream about them, want them in the middle of the night, so if I lean so over good. and you're drooling, it's not because you're like asleep, it's because you're thinking of those tacos. I want tacos. <laughs> they were that good, you guys. Like unforgettably good. Like it will like sit with me. Like I will remember this night. Now we are walking from there, just like half a block over to the ocean. Florida is rad. It is amazing. We're gonna go check out, uh, the sun's kind of already set. The idea was to go see the sunset, but it's already set. It's gonna kind of come over here. Let's enjoy the last piece of the evening here. Some oceanside vibes at the beach. They got split up from the ladies. They got stuck on the other side of the pier, I think. But this side's got the beautiful, gorgeous, glowing orange. The sun has already set, but you still get that beach sunset, bright orange colors, just magnificent. That is how you bing them, baby. Woo! Okay, bro, what do we have here? We got like a cookies and cream, a bunch of marshmallows. For those of you who are curious what is going down in this cone right here, we got a waffle cone with cotton candy ice cream loaded with gummy bears, rainbow sprinkles, rainbow nerds, and to top it all off, Lucky Charms marshmallows. Holy shit! Oh my gosh, Mindy. Are we closing the vlog right here, right now uh, on it's this a beach? beautiful enough <laughs> surroundings to do so. You guys, we've got ocean right there. We've got kids running and playing in the back. We've got a sunset behind us. Everything you could need to say goodbye to the perfect day in Today Florida. It's a good day. Yet again, yet yeah. again. Getting a little bit breezy. We've been seeing some lightning. We think we might get thunderstormed on. There might be some rain coming in here in a hurry. So we're gonna close this thing up, wrap it up. We're gonna come back tomorrow. Got a lot of fun on tap tomorrow. You do not want to miss it. We are gonna be going hard once again. We had an absolute great day. Thank you for hanging with us. Thank you for all of the amazing messages about our stay here in Florida. Make sure you come back tomorrow. We love you. See you then. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello and good morning everyone. We are getting all ready to head to the beach. Packing okay. things up, loading up the car, ready to head out for another day in the sun here in Florida today. Can't get enough of the beach, the sun, the weather, the humidity. In fact, can you see the lens fogging up right now? No, I walk outside my sunglasses and it's instantly like I'm blind. If I walk from the inside outside while recording, it immediately fogs up the lens, but I love it. It's beautiful here. We're going to a new beach today, brand new, headed to Ball Harbor. Ball Harbor. Ball Harbor, home of the luxurious hotels, skyline, beaches, white sand. Fancy living, exquisite shopping, a place that we definitely will not fit into, <laughs> but we're gonna go. We're gonna go see how the rich and famous do it. Oh, jeez, bro. That's your shot? Just got 
back to this beautiful beach. We're at Ball Harbor. Tons of really amazing hotels, high-end shops, tons of stuff around us. Just gonna park it right here and have some fun in the sand. Looks like a storm rolling in. Jared's been explaining to us the rain kind of just comes and goes and it could hit hard for a minute, but then it immediately dissipates and you're back in the sun. And I've secretly wanted to be like in the ocean. I feel like I'm always holding the lens cap in the videos lately. I've secretly always wanted to be in the ocean as the storm hits because I think it would just be fun and you know what's going to pass. You can be out there in the water. Kids have already gotten a start out there floating around. It looks like we may get our wish today. It looks like a storm rolling in right over these buildings right here. I just felt a couple drops coming down on top of us. A few moments later. Wish granted. Just just started pouring on us. Kids are like, you got your wish. It's raining while we're in the ocean. Guys, what is with this seaweed blowing up? Jared said it's a seasonal, like dune, maybe stormy thing. Dude, it is right now pouring rain on us inside of the ocean right now while we swim. Go this out. is pretty rad. Let's take it out a little way, should we? Yes. Let's go. Storm life, baby. It's that beach storm life. It doesn't get any better than this. Getting poured on in the ocean. Woo! Look at these, <laughs> Look at these drops bouncing off of the ocean floor. Woo! It's not the floor. It's Look the ceiling of the Look roof. At Look at that. <laughs> oh. Woo! Yeah, baby. Yeah! This is awesome. It's getting uh, a little bit heavier by the second. I don't know if I'm in or out of water right now. Woo! <laughs> okay, we're just taking shelter here so we don't get wet. <laughs> Psych, we don't care. <laughs> this is one of the coolest things ever. In all seriousness though, you probably can't even see me. But a lot of times you may look down on a rainy day at the beach and think that the day was a wreck, but this, I promise you, will be the moment they remember of this vacation. You can make the most of anything, including an epic storm. <laughs> coming down on you. This will be the beach moment that they remember from this entire trip, I guarantee it. Because it's unique, it's fun, we're smiling, and we're making the most of it, baby. Woo! Second we set up, this just started coming down. Woo! <laughs> Dang it, I hit record too late, but that was the loudest thunderclap I've ever heard. Oh my gosh, are you supposed to clear the ocean when that happens? Precy, I got you, bro, I got you, are you good? Just moments ago, super loud thunderclap shook the entire ocean, had the place erupting in cheers. I want thunder, that was the coolest thunder, it was one thunder and done. Hi guys, we gotta get one more good thunder, bro, come on. Thunder. <laughs> Thunder. Lightning and the thunder. The storm is pretty much gone. That's why I think we're not getting the thunder, guys, because it is gone that way. And if I flip the camera around where you once saw the storm, it is now sunny blue skies over there. So that's about to be on top of us. <laughs> hey, he's coming to join us in the storm, baby. Let's go. <laughs> it's so fun. This is awesome, you guys. <laughs> Crew, I think we need to seek shelter, bro. We're going to get out of the storm immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what comes after the rain? The rainbow. <laughs> rainbow. And crew's looking for waves. Yes. Sorry, bro. Wrong beach. I guess you can surf the waveless beaches of Florida, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Best one of the day, baby. Let's go, Groovy. Woo! <laughs> that was the best one, dude. At the sunniest moment with the bluest water and the brightest sky. Let's go, dude. That was good, dude. That was good. That was sick. Guys, just like that, no joke, it is sunny sky. The sun is beaming through. It is hot once again. Other than our seats are soaking wet, our towels are probably wet. <laughs> Everything over there's. What's going on in the background now? <laughs> I have no idea what you did, but I'm like, I'm just going to talk facing them and we'll see what he does. <laughs> it is sunny skies again. Bright, beautiful summer weather. I think we can maybe even get mom and Brittany into the water here in a minute. We got everybody out here now. Now it's a full Bingham party. We got Jared and Britt. We got Mindy. We got Hazy. We got the boys. And look how far away we are from the shore, you guys. You can walk forever out here. We have walked almost all the way out to like the boating lanes out there and we're still standing. Like I'm on my regular feet. Are you? Well, I don't have any well, other feet. Everyone else but, but Everyone else. can stand except for Mindy. <laughs> 
They are convinced there's something out here. They're sure. Yeah, I see a ton of seaweed. Convinced that it's a sea manatee, a giant fish, maybe a shark. I do not believe them. I can't see what they're talking about, so I've come out here to explore. So far, all I see is seaweed. Just a bunch of seaweed. I don't want to see a sea manatee or just any form of wildlife out here in the ocean. Dolphin. I'd settle for a nice docile shark for right now. Just a bunch of this. What? Touch the buoy? I'll touch the buoy. He touched the butt! He touched the butt! <laughs> things up here at Ball Harbor Village, Ball Harbor Beach. Whatever it was, it was beautiful, it was fun. It was like three beaches in one. We had a stormy beach, we had a white sand, clear water, sunny beach, and then we had a crazy windy beach to finish things off. The wind picked up, it was blowing umbrellas all over the place. We got everything packed up, headed back to the house, gonna chill out just a little bit, maybe jump back in the pool because we can, and then get ready for another awesome night tonight. Every night has been amazing because Jared and Britt are taking us to their local favorites. One of the things that's great about that, guys, is we don't have to do the hit and miss where we wonder if it's gonna be a good meal. When you're on vacation, you only get like four or five meals out in the evenings, four or five dinners, and if you miss one, the good percentage of your meals that you got wrong, with Jared and Britt in charge, we only have good meals every single time. No pressure. No pressure tonight. Hi. And we have no doubt tonight will be the same, right, <laughs> no Brittany? No pressure or anything. I don't know what's gonna top that taco place last night. That was one of the best meals I've ever had so in my life. I literally was in pain from how full I was. We are back here at the house, chilling out, poolside, in the pool actually. The kids wanted to jump in the pool after the beach, just kind of hang out, relax a little bit before we head out tonight. Tonight, going to a delicious steakhouse here in Las Olas. As I said earlier, it's awesome batting a thousand on the meals that we eat out. Every single one of them has been knocked out of the park delicious. No doubt tonight will be the same. Until then, gonna chill in here poolside, just relax, unwind a little bit, bumped our reservations up a little bit for dinner tonight so that that way maybe we could finish up our dinner and then go head out, grab a dessert, and eat that dessert while watching the sunset. All right, guys, we showed up at Kalu's. I think it's called Kalu's. It's this nice little waterfront, waterside restaurant. And when they say waterfront, waterside, that means if Jared scoots back too far, he's falling in the water, you guys. We are on the water. We got this bridge that comes up right here. Let's sailboats in and out through the night. It's a nice, delicious steakhouse. This is, this is going to be an incredible view, incredible food, and the perfect finish to this day. Guys, just as we sat down, we we're about to order. The waiter came back to get our order, and it started jumping. That is the downside. This epic waterfront. I'm getting a refill of my water. <laughs> Pull your water in, dude. Bridge came up. Sailboat's coming through. The rain is coming down. Should pass pretty quickly, we hope. And we'll get back to our regularly scheduled dinner. Not even joking, before the bridge closed, the rain has already stopped. Started pouring when it lifted, stopped once it closed. We're already done. JK literally just got so much worse. <laughs> we're all just huddled under umbrellas in here. They've offered us a table inside the restaurant if we like. We keep thinking we're gonna wait it out and it's gonna stop. As soon as it stops, it just starts pouring again. We'll see. Just waiting here for a second to see. Take two, just a little bit further away from the water. Still fantastic views out there, protected from the rain. It's probably gonna clear up and get sunny all of a sudden. Nice little table inside the restaurant, just next to the water still. This is like two experiences in one. Just finished up dinner. It was delicious, absolutely it incredible. Was it was right there on the water, which is cool. There's some rainbows that came out, kind of like brightened up the sky, but it did continue to rain on and off. So I'm glad we got yeah, that seat so we got, indoors. We got to move inside, which was awesome because we also got to experience the outside feel. Double vibe, one dinner, and now we're getting the full sunset vibe in Florida. In this beautiful Our spot. first real Florida sunset because we're always kind of like in between dinner and dessert or something like that. So we're gonna stop, slow things down, literally parking our cars on the side of the road to watch the sun dip behind these homes so right here. Pretty. 
Sweet. Stunning scenery, gorgeous finish to the day, but then we still gotta go get dessert. catching that amazing sunset right near the ocean. We are actually beachside for dessert, grabbing some Rita's custard Italian ice, something delicious. It is right here by Jared and Britt's place. It is also just off of the ocean. We love Florida. We love Florida, you guys. We love Jared and Britt's hometown. This has been absolutely amazing. Got one more full day tomorrow. We're gonna hit up Miami. Welcome to Miami. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> but for now, welcome to Dessert Flavor Town. Here we go. We are back, closing out second to last full day here. I know. I don't want to count. But I do feel like the days haven't like blown by, which no. has made me so happy. I feel like we are just like living in the moment. Yes, every day has just been so full of activity and fun and delicious food. <laughs> Winding this day down, wrapping things up, getting ready for a full day in Miami tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's all about Miami people. Heck yes, and we're hoping that the weather holds out. Kids just got tucked into bed. One of the things that I love about vacation, we say this every time when we go on vacation, <laughs> we've got all these rooms. We always make sure everyone's got their own room. And then they end up sharing rooms because they just love having the sleepovers together, hanging out together. I love it. It's adorable. I love it. I love that they're that close, that they want to share those memories together because I remember on vacation as a kid, those are the moments that brought us closer together. Just talking through the night about our favorite parts of the so trip, fun. what we couldn't wait for tomorrow. We're going to close today out. Make sure you come back because tomorrow we're going to have a lot of fun in Miami. Thanks for hanging with us today. You guys are amazing. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. Today has been an awesome start to the day. Already? Already. But Mindy, the sun just came up. Right and early. <laughs> I ran to the beach today to catch the sunrise and it was quite beautiful. I want to show you guys. Good morning everyone. I decided to wake up early and run to the beach to catch the sunrise. I might not be very lucky because there's a lot of clouds. We'll see. I'm here. It's a mile. I'm ready for it. This was hands down one of the best decisions I've made on this trip. Coming to see the sunrise, definitely something I needed to do. I'm just sitting here being alone with myself and it feels really good. Over on this side of me, there's like a lightning show going on. Over here, we have the sunrise. It's beautiful. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my time alone for a minute. We are going to have a fantastic day. We have a lot of fun things we really want to do. We're going to head a little bit further south today. We're going to go to Miami. Ooh, Miami. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> We're going to be spending the entire day there today. It is our last full day here in Florida with Jared and Britt. They're on our way over. Tomorrow to our house right now. We're gonna load up the car. We're gonna all load up into our car, drive down south, spend the day in Miami. The forecast calls for a lot of rain today. 90% chance of thunderstorms like all day. day. However, we have learned that sometimes that does not necessarily mean that it will rain all day. There'll be like little patches of rain and it'll yeah. go away. We're starting out with some thunder and some sprinkles. We have Come high hopes. Come in the ocean with us. Who's going to the ocean? Me with my dad because he loves going in the ocean when it rains. Did have a lot of fun yesterday. If you missed yesterday's video, it jumped rain on us yes. in the ocean. It was so much fun. We made the most of it. It might happen again today, but we've got some big plans. We're gonna go check out this like really scenic lighthouse. It's like it's kind of like iconic for pics and stuff. So that should be rad. We're gonna go to a fun beach. We've got some fun shopping. The kids that want to do some souvenir shopping. Delicious food all day for sure. Oh yeah. Started off with a little sunrise in the ocean. Loading up the car, perfect. heading to Miami. Can you hear that? The chee -chee 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 -chee. What do they call that? They call cicadas? No, it's Mindy nagging me. <laughs> we have arrived at Key Biscayne. What are we gonna see here, guys? We got our tour guides, Jared and Britt, with us. What are we gonna see besides this car running us over? Gonna, Step out of the street really quick. We are gonna see a lighthouse. Lighthouse keeper's house? Yes, a lighthouse oh. keeper's house, like a cottage. It's been here for like over 150 years. Yes. No it's way. Kind yeah. of cool. And it's beautiful. It's white. It's right on guys, the ocean. And the sun came out nice. for this. It is bright blue, sunny skies right now. It's the perfect weather. A little bit warm, but we're gonna 
jumping in the ocean in a minute. I did have to say, as we were watching on the GPS, we have driven to the edge, like to the end of civilization, the end of Key Biscayne, I guess, the end of this little island. And we're gonna go out to the tip of that right now. Go check out this lighthouse. Super dope spot for InstaPix. Check out our oh. Instagram, at this is how we bing them. Yes. There's gonna be some fire over there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here we are at the Key Biscayne Lighthouse. Look at this bad boy, this thing is so legit. And what is even crazier is that Jared and Britt have never been to the top, it's never been open. It's open today. It's open today. We've never been inside of one, climbed to the top and looked out and around. So we're gonna go up and do that for the very first time and it's Jared and Britt's first time too, which I is know, pretty cool. Is that as they're showing us some of their favorite places, they get to experience something for the first time as well. Start the climb, here we go. I would love to vlog the walk, but these are some pretty shallow stairs and there's 107 of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my way up to the top and we'll see you up there. I'm gonna have to get out the GoPro hole, the 360 to give you the full scope of this. We're at the top of the Key Biscayne Lighthouse. This is incredible. Panoramic views all the way around to show you just how isolated we are at the tip of this key. Ocean down below there, here I'll change it there. You got the ocean beach down below. I'm gonna drop this camera. I think there's Miami back there somewhere. This is incredible, you guys. Wow. We are up here top of the lighthouse, Brexy Doodle. What do you think, bro? I really like it. It's pretty I rad. I can see the people on the beach. I can see the ocean. We can see through the water too. Like I wonder if you could see yeah. anything down in there, like a sea turtle or a shark or a dolphin or something. Sharks are like over there where that ball. Guys, is. from up here you can see Stiltsville. Houses built up on stilts. You can see another island. There's another key off in the distance. The views are stunning. There's a nice breeze that kind of comes through as you get up this high. But I was telling the kids, this is a once in a lifetime experience. I'm years old almost bleep that out i'm old and i've never done this before jared and Britt live here this is the first time they've ever gone inside to the top so the kids to be able to do this today spectacular absolutely incredible you can actually come up inside where they light the lighthouse. I think back in the day this used to be lit by fire. Now it looks like some kind of xenon ultra high efficiency burning lamp. Still, has all the same magic, but also the same heat as if it was on fire. It's like a sauna up here. I think back in the 1800s, nobody had big feet. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> These stairs are as big as mine and Jared's toes. And just think, when you get down here, I got 107 to go. We just got back down and as we were coming down, the staircase was kind of wobbling and stuff. The kids were getting kind of sketched. I was like, this has been here for 500 years. It's not gonna break after one year. What do you think, it was made by Apple? Oh! We were walking out of there just in time, just so as like the thunder came in, it's starting to rain. There's some thunder right there. We got sunny skies for the top of the lighthouse. Oh, and the yeah. guy told us, if you're up there and it starts to storm, they do make you come down because it is a for sure, it will be struck by lightning. He said, it's not if, it's it will get struck by lightning. So we got up there, maybe last group of the day as the storm rolls in. Unfortunately, now the plan is to go to the beach. So we're gonna see if we can get out from under the cloud cover, go to a sunny beach somewhere in Miami. And raining in the beach is always fun too. <laughs> yes, it is. We learned that yesterday. And over here, you can see Miami as we come in. <laughs> Rainstorms ain't nothing to mess with, and I can't feel a drip on the strip. It's a trip. Welcome to Miami. I'm going to Miami. Oh, there it is. Okay, thank you, Mindy. <laughs> I can't even tell the difference. Is this me or Will Smith? Who's singing right now, huh? Huh? I can feel that. Huh? So it looks like the clouds are not going to go away, but this is our last day. We're in Miami. <laughs> so we're gonna hit South Beach. <laughs> last one didn't rhyme, but South Beach is epic, baby. I love you more than all the 
cities mixed up together, it makes a huge wealth bigger than your head. <laughs> That's huge. You know about making lemonade when life gives you lemons. Kids and Jared, I should add, are finding the bright spot in having a rainy, cloudy day at the beach. Guess what? That turns the sand into perfect sandcastle making sand. Yes. Because it's wet and it sticks and the kids couldn't be more stoked about it. So we're building some sandcastles. I'll get a great tan here under the cloud cover. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, you can still get I feel like you can still get sun. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. But I think we'll also probably get in the water as well and just enjoy our amazing final day here. Chilling at South Beach. Got some fun dinner plans tonight. Kids really, really wanted to get into the ocean no matter what because we don't get the chance to get into the ocean that often. Like, it's not like we have one very nearby. So if we're gonna be here, rain or shine, we're getting in that water, bro. Mm -hmm. You're making a tic-tac-toe in the sand? I love it. Now yesterday, the kids collected a bunch of seashells off of the ocean floor and they brought some nets. They wanted to do that again today, some goggles. We got quite the seashell collection and these kids put them in a jar in their room. It's like this rad souvenir decoration, but it's actually seashells hand-picked from the bottom of the ocean. I think it's cool you guys do that. Yeah. You guys gonna go out seashell hunting? What are you guys gonna go do? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Add fish. to the collection, make a little Maybe. souvie to take home. Maybe catch some fish. Maybe catch some fish? Okay. Hey, they might be out, dude. Kids have identified a group of people out there who they said all have snorkels on and are screaming, oh, check this out. We're gonna go out there, see if we can see anything. But there's also a lot of thunder. We're gonna get another rainstorm. We had fun in it yesterday. Kids actually said they loved it and were hoping to get caught in another one today. Ladies up here on the shore, not quite as much fun for them. We came out here, we saw these people standing clear out in the ocean with the water not even up to their waist. And we were like, how are they doing that? So we walked out here and there's a patch, like an island basically here, that's like, I would call it like a sandbar. Like I am not even, it's not even up to my waist right now. So the kids are looking for fish. They did say that they just saw a manta ray, like little manta rays here, not sure if they're coming back or if they're even telling the truth, to be honest. But if they did, we're floating out here, seeing what we can find. Look at the floating movie. Oh, what? Dude, you're not kidding. That's a freaking billboard floating across the ocean. What? That's a gigantic floating billboard for Fast and Furious 9. That is freaking rad. We have come back to the pad, cleaned up a little bit, ended up continuing to rain in Miami, so we came back home, but the sun's peeking through the clouds here, yeah. so that's fantastic. We've got a fun dinner plan tonight. We had reservations at a couple places, but because of traffic, getting back, getting showered, and changed, we missed both of those. So last minute, we were able to snag. Where are we going again? It's like a hibachi place, so they'll yes. cook it right in front of us. Like Red Door or something, something. Anyway, it's five something, minutes something. away from here. It's very close. We have reservations coming up in 10 minutes, so we're going to be five minutes early. Everything's working out perfectly to finish off this epic night, last so full day. energy. I don't actually, but I'm pushing it, baby, because it's the last day of AK. I before we head home tomorrow, in fact, we've already checked into our flight. Mom's been doing some packing back at the house. All the laundry's getting done. <laughs> that boring stuff we just leave out. See us on the plane tomorrow. Boo. But first we eat. So this is where we're gonna be eating tonight. This is a dope spot we actually walked by on our first night. We've kind of come full circle, guys. It's a little bit, I don't know what the word is for it. Serendipitous, no. Emotional, no. But this has been kind of the street we've hung out on quite a bit. This is where we yeah. see all the fun supercars, where we had our dessert the first night, dinner the first night. So wrapping things up again here, it's called the Red Door Asian Bistro Hibachi style. So we're gonna be eating here. Oh my gosh, is that freaking Jared Bingham from Jared and Britt? I think it is, he's parking right there in front. We're about to walk in and have some dinner, Hibachi style, cooked right in front of us. But then we gotta do some subi shopping, bro. Yeah, I feel like if we can get some subi shopping in, dessert, we know they got good dessert here because we've already done it on the street. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll see some rad supercars to finish off our time here in Florida. Let's do it. closest you'll ever see mom to a lobster tail. She is right there and right in front of her. A little lobster tail and a bunch of shrimp. Mom, you're getting dangerously close to seafood here. <laughs> Okay. 
Good. Coming out of a delicious dinner, you can't see me because of all these Christmas lights that they keep up year round. What did you think, bro? Was it good? Amazing. It was actually really good, you guys. Kids loved it. Rock guy accidentally got the shrimp and steak. He only wanted steak, so I got that his shrimp, which was kind of nice. He's pretty stoked about it back there. So we're gonna grab a quick dessert, a little sweet treat, kind of like a tiny bite on our way out. But then we're gonna do some pina coladas back at the house. I think we're gonna do some nice pina coladas back at the house after I get that caramel covered ice cream treat that I had the first night because I haven't stopped thinking about it since then. With a night swim? I don't know about a night swim. What about subies? Are we doing subies? Are subies out of the question? I wanna do that. Finishing things up with a little souvenir shopping. We are back at the house and Aunt Brittany is making us up some virgin pina coladas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> are we sure they're virgin pina coladas? I don't know about that. <laughs> Did you put extra sugar in hers? <laughs> Guys, this is awesome. Whipping up some homemade pina coladas right here in our kitchen to finish off our vacation. That's yeah. perfect. I love it. Thank you, Aunt Brittany. There you are. We are wrapping up our last day here in Florida. Poolside, just for fun, because we're saying goodbye to this gorgeous house. I know. We gotta go home and build our own. Oh, we have <laughs> like a lot of appointments set up. We haven't even thought about that. Set up right when we get the home. The day we a get back. A lot is happening when we get home, actually, because we had to reschedule cruise braces, so that's happening right oh my as soon gosh. as we get home. House hunting stuff when we get home. Lots going on. Today was amazing. The lighthouse was absolutely beautiful. Packing things up, getting ready to head out tomorrow. We didn't say goodbye to Jared and Britt here in the vlog, because they are going to take us to the airport tomorrow, so amazing. that way they can return the rental car for us. They are that incredible, you guys, so make sure you're subscribe to them Jared and Britt on YouTube it will be in the description that way you can find it very easily very quickly they're amazing they're incredible and they live here this is their life every single day Definitely all the stuff we've been doing on vacation is just their regular weekend and weekday life so they are a lot of fun to watch we got to get the kids into bed get everything packed up get this vlog edited and uploaded and then hit the airport first thing in the morning for a full day of travel home I'm back not quite coast to coast but coast to home almost we love you thanks for hanging with us and we will see you all tomorrow good night everybody bye Hello and good morning everyone. Good morning you guys from outside of our Florida house. Saying goodbye today though, heading back to Utah. Today is our travel day. We have two flights to get on. It's gonna be a little bit of a long day, but the best part about going home to Utah is we back. gain those hours back. So yeah. we're gonna be getting in at a reasonable time. Guys, we leave here at noon and get home to Utah at five. How was it that we left San Diego at three in the morning? Didn't get here until like seven, eight o'clock at night. We're hoping for a smooth travel experience. No delays, we'll see, fingers crossed, but we got the a whole day to get back take our time we hear it's a heat advisory in utah so we're leaving the humidity of florida for the 100 plus degrees of the hot dry desert of utah yes. first we got to pack our bags load up the car jared and Britt are actually going to take us and drop us off so they're on their way That's here so now amazing. and our full day of travel back home begins today Well, we are saying goodbye to the gorgeous waterways and ocean of Florida. This beautiful home that we've been staying in and loving every minute of. We are headed back home to a lot of action, a lot of things going on at the house. We talked about this yesterday, I think at the end of the vlog, but Crew was supposed to get his braces on the day before we left for Florida because of our travel changes flip-flopping. There was a possibility we were gonna be going to San Diego from Florida. We went a couple days before Florida, so we had to rearrange that braces appointment too right after we get home. So Crew will be getting his braces. We also had a full day of home shopping to do with our designer in building our new dream home. That had to get moved to the day after we get home, so I believe that's actually tomorrow we're gonna be doing that. So we might be leaving vacation. It has been action-packed and a lot of fun, but we are going home to a lot of incredible things going down in the Bingham house, a lot of big, big things. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you do have the alert bell on. And just for fun, if you enjoyed this Florida vacation, if you had fun hanging out with us, hit that like button as we pack up and head back home today. Jared and Britt, almost here. Gotta give them a mad shout out and a huge thank you for all that they've done to make this the most incredible experience possible. The most gracious host you could possibly imagine. They've had more fun than we ever thought possible, and they took care of of every last thing. There was nothing left for us to even think about or do because they took care of all of it from the rental car to stocking the pantry with groceries to getting the house prepared for us and getting us checked in so that we could come right here after a long day of travel to now helping us pack up, dropping us off at the airport, returning the rental car. Incredible people, incredible couple, you guys. Make sure you're following them, Jared and Britt, on YouTube as well as Instagram. They're making a real go of this YouTube thing and we want to help and support them in any way that we can. They've got an amazingly fun and adventure-filled life here in Florida, which is a lot of fun to watch.
have a seashell collection. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> They are here, Jared and Britt. Our chauffeurs are Rondies, if you will. Rondi. Yeah. Well, Rondi's not a Rondi. She's a Rhonda. Rhonda. <laughs> Rondi and Rhonda. Hello. They have been absolutely amazing, incredible, from start yeah. to finish. Made this the most incredible vacation you could possibly imagine. We've never been treated this good. No, I don't know how to start traveling without the royal treatment. I don't know I what know, to do if someone doesn't pick me up from the airport. <laughs> Stock our house before Where's we get there. They are here to take us to the airport today. We wanted to take a bite to them here because I think it's going to get kind of chaotic getting out of the car saying goodbye. Make sure you are subscribed to their channel, Jared and Britt, on YouTube. They've got Instagram as well, Jared and Britt there as well. Makes it very easy to find both. This is their daily normal life. So we are leaving to go it's back beautiful. to the desert of Utah. They are staying here on the beautiful tropics of Florida. Jared's drone video alone is reason to sign up and subscribe. Finn is another great reason and they're an amazing couple. You guys are the best. We're gonna miss you guys so much. We've had so much fun. It's not goodbye, you guys. <laughs> We're still family. That's the good news. You're coming back to Utah. We eventually. are yeah. coming back to right. Utah. Yeah. Eventually. eventually. I don't know yeah. how you leave this place, but I eventually. Know. I know. Kids got matching souvenirs last night. They got these sick white. I don't know if that's puka shell or not, because it's kind of like the rounder kind. Puka shell's like a little bit chunkier, but they all got matching ones. So they're rocking them today on their way out of town. Oh, and he caught it! I got that on video! <laughs> Thank you, Randy. Hi right, guys, love you! Thank you! Thank you! We love you! See you guys, thank you! We have boarded our first flight of two today. Hazy girl, are you ready to rock? Yeah. This is a short one just to Atlanta, about an hour, hour and a half. Not a big deal. We got a very short, quick layover, not even a full hour, I think, in Atlanta. Jumping on the plane home, we got to hurry to that one. Maybe grab a quick snack on the way, because we didn't get great snacks at this airport, huh? Saying goodbye to Florida. On our way home to Salt Lake. Hazy girl, are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Oh wow. One of the things that I love when we're able to do it is three seats in a row, so six total, and we can get the entire row. I love that because the two boys who are in the aisle can sit next to each other, and then we go all the way across with nothing dividing us. Kids love that as well. I think we have the same setup on the next flight too. I love you, Hazel. One flight down, one to go. We're not familiar entirely with the Atlanta airport yet, but we just landed at a T gate and our departure is out of a E gate. So we're gonna figure out how far away that is from here. Ugh, I'm doing my alphabet correctly. That's a long ways away. We don't know. We're gonna get out here and find out. <laughs> it's a very short turnaround time, about 30, 40 minutes before our next flight takes off. They're starting to board in about 10. We're gonna see if we can find that gate, Are get on that plane. Are we gonna pull a home alone? No, I don't, I don't know. You think we're gonna have to home alone this I thing? I don't know, but I'm hungry. I am hungry too, and I gotta go to the bathroom, so. We did just get the information, and it is a little bit of a jaunt, you guys. We're going to the end of terminal. Terminal T, we're gonna jump onto a train through the double doors, take it five stops to Terminal E. Atlanta Airport is no joke, we're gonna see a lot of it right now.
I think we're gonna make this. They've got that incredible shuttle system underground, which yeah. I assumed they had, but when they tell you that you're five terminals away, that seemed like that was a big Atlanta get. is huge. Huge airport, but we've made it. We are now on the E concourse from the T concourse, ready to catch our connecting flight to Salt Lake City. I think we've got about 20 minutes to spare, so we'll be good. we rock we'll be that. Good. We have so much time. We've got plenty of time to go eat. In fact, I don't think they're even doing flights out of the E concourse today. There's like nobody here. I know, it feels like it's empty. The one we came from was like so chaotic. I was like, where do we go? What do we do? We walk in here and it's like literally nobody here. So we're gonna grab a bite to eat. And then uh, I think after that, it's time to board our plane and head back home. Final flight of the day, but it is the longer one. It's a four hour one, so. Headed back with our McDonald's, living the high life and nice smoothie for Brexit Doodle. I was saying earlier, not very familiar with this airport. We don't stop in Atlanta very often, trying to do as many direct flights as possible. But the kids remembering when we got to the food court that we have been here before. We've been in this concourse, we've eaten in that food court, the benches, and I believe it was the flight where we flew to Puerto Rico. We had a layover here. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that was it. So we've actually been in this concourse before and on that shuttle before. Hard to keep it all straight though. Able to get our food, have enough time to eat it, board our flight, and head home. We are on board our last and final flight home. It's about a three and a half hour flight, they said. We will be back home tonight, sleeping in our own beds for the first time in a while. Kids have done amazing. You got your snacks, you got your treats? Oh, wow, you got a blue tongue. We have found these treats to be like our absolute favorite new candy. Rex and I got two bags each. Crunchy on the outside, gummy sour on the inside. They are so good. Also, a random side fun fact, you guys. These newer planes have a lot more leg room in the back than the older planes. We just got off of an older plane. I'm sorry, this is so close to my face, but there's a seat right here. And it felt like the seat was on top of me in the last plane. This one, spacious, big screen in the back, newer planes. Operation for departure. Love you. Please make sure your seatbelts are securely fastened. See you position. in Salt Lake. We do have two hours and 16 minutes to go to Salt Lake City. They said if we do stop somewhere, it's gonna be a significant delay. It could be three to seven hour delay with a lot of missed connections. So they asked if there's any way we can press on to destination. We're gonna still do our best to try to find some sprays and try to get conditions a little, little bit more approved for you. We do apologize. Thank you for your patience on this. So right now we're continuing to Salt Lake City. Two hours and 15 minutes to go. We'd like to thank you for flying with us this afternoon. It has been our pleasure having you as our guest. Thank you again for your understanding and patience through our event today. We hope to see you again soon on another Delta flight. Just got off of our flight, finally arrived in Salt Lake City. We are home. Guys, this has never happened that I know of. Two medical emergencies on back-to-back -back flights. So our first one, we actually had to wait a little bit to get off the plane because they needed medical personnel to come onto the plane and hand carry the person off. We don't know what's yeah, going on, trouble breathing. Yeah, we don't know what happened. But they ran and got a medical kit. They asked for nurses or doctors on the plane to please come and assist. We got them there to help out. We got them through whatever the issue was. When we got there, they had them taken off of the airplane. And then sure enough, the very next flight, our connecting flight here to Salt Lake City. They asked again for anyone with medical training. They kept walking back and forth down the aisles in like Quickly. hazmat type suits. I think they were just nauseous. I think they just had thrown up, but they had talked about at one point maybe diverting the flight, stopping in like another Tennessee. city. Tennessee, yeah, they wanted to maybe drop us into Memphis. But that would have added like three to seven hours. They said a lot of people would have missed connecting flights. Just didn't know what to do, but I think the real issue was kind of like the smell of the throw up because they were like going through spray and stuff. That's we were in the back. We didn't really see or hear. It didn't bother us so much, but a lot of people who were in that row had to come back and yeah, sit by I us. Felt so. bad for the Poor person. But just like back to back flights with back to back, is there a doctor on board? I was just like, that's never happened and in all so our flights. I'm so grateful that people are so willing to just raise their hand and help. I thought yeah. that was really Hit cool. And the flight button, attendants handled it awesome. Crushed so it, did as well as they could. They did great. But adventurous flight home. We are back now. <laughs> to say the least. Gotta grab our bags and then let's get home. Let's do it. Come up 
to grab our bags here. Another thing I will say is these kids are phenomenal travelers. We're just complimenting them on that. Yes, but I mean, well. we do a lot of flying with kids type videos and they have just gotten very, I mean, they were never really struggled, but they've been so good at just being quiet, keeping to themselves, playing on their devices, watching the shows. They're never complaining about, are we there yet? When are we gonna be there? Never no. asking for food or snacks. They are very, very well traveled and they're just great little flyers. They're fantastic. They really are. They hold all their own stuff. They take care of themselves. They're ahead of us right now to go pick up the bag. They love to grab the bags off the baggage claim, take them to the next shuttle. They're just incredible they at do traveling. They a good job. It makes it so we want to do it more. In fact, you know what? Let's do it again here in a month. Let's you know go what? to Turks and Caicos. Let's come back here in a month, but next month, just a heads Whoa. up, it's a red eye. We are flying through the night. So I hope we didn't just jinx it by talking about what great Why travelers did you there. just remind me? <laughs> I don't want to go anymore. This will be our first ever through the night red eye experience. We'll see how well they do then. <laughs> We just arrived in Salt Lake City. We had heard they were under a heat advisory. It is 104 degrees in Salt Lake City. Mom just looked at 104. We were getting out to some sweltering heat at dinner time here, people. But it's not humid. No, it's actually not nearly as bad when it's not I mean, humid. I'm hot and sweaty, but I don't feel like I just took a shower. No, 104 with that humidity, we would not make it to our car. And we our car's like right there. tired than we thought we were. I think everyone thought that the naps in the plane were sufficient to rest, but napping on a pull-out tray table is not a nap. We are home. We are going to get unpacked to get these bags put away. Mom did most of the laundry Thankfully, while we were there. All of it's clean except for half of this little mini suitcase is dirty, so all of it's clean. It just needs to be put away. How great is that? And crew right on cue, this guy getting braces, not tomorrow. I said that wrong earlier in the vlog. It is the day after tomorrow, right? Thursday, we'll be getting braces. Dude, Thursday, stoked. fresh set of braces. This dude also probably a little bit tired. So come back for that tomorrow, doing some serious shopping for our home. A lot of choices to be made. We're going out yes. full day with our interior designer. She's just like our full home designer, She's really. Designer. Yeah, outside and inside. Who's going to help us figure out what this house is going to look like. We're Bring it to life. We're flooring and appliances and all the big things. Once we nail that, that's when we can move on to getting the plans fully signed off and start digging. So this is a big meeting tomorrow. Full day of it. Come back, you guys. Thanks for hanging with us in Florida. Thanks for hanging so with fun. us here in Utah. It's hot either way. It's always hot. Thanks for being so awesome and supportive to Jared and Brittany and a huge thanks to them for making our vacation extra awesome. We love you guys. Come back tomorrow. See you then. Good night, everybody. Everybody.